Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Trek Collector, back with another five-minute review. And this time I have got a ship that I have been dying to get my mitts on since I first seen it going way, way back then. Matt Jeffries, USS Enterprise Shuttlecraft. This was meant to be the Shuttlecraft. Unfortunately, um, Gene Roddenberry uh, was under a tight budget back in the day of the early days of Star Trek um, TOS. Um... I think it was like episode five, Sulu was trapped on the planet. The transporters weren't working and poor old Sulu was stuck below. Where was the shuttlecraft? Simple reason, they couldn't afford a shuttlecraft. <laughs> the transporter was basically designed to save money. Yes, that's right. Using shuttlecraft and sequences as such as this would cost a lot of money back in the day so if you notice as well with the enterprise a lot of shots of the enterprise was done in one go and reused over and over again so any kind of fight sequences anything new cost the show a lot of money so where they could they tried to save on money so this was the shuttle that was never to be um this is what matt jeffries envisioned this shuttlecraft the one that we see in the series was unique and ingenious this was how AMT got their hands on the rights to do Star Trek kits. And there is a really, really, I don't know if anyone has checked out on Netflix, um, the toys that made us. And in season two, there is all about the Star Trek stuff back in the day. And there's some nice footage as well of stuff from Eagle Moss. But basically what happened was AMT went in to get the rights uh, to make the Enterprise. So they decided they offered to make a one-third scale model shuttlecraft for the show. But again, AMT weren't going to spend too much money. That's Matt Jeffrey's shuttlecraft now in size with a highlighter. They weren't going to blow the budget and make something like this because as we can see for back then and craftsmanship and so, stuff like this, this is very, very beautiful. Um, this would have cost a lot of money to make. Um, it's just it's fantastic I think she really fits well with the whole style of the Enterprise I think it would have really really been cool to actually see footage of this ship docking and being in the shuttle bay to be honest with you I've always preferred this shuttle over this shuttlecraft that we got don't get me wrong I do like the shuttlecraft and to be honest with you I do think it has worked out really really well that AMT did donate that shuttlecraft because at the time if you do look now well before my days but if you look at the toys that uh if you were a big star trek fan back in the day what the rubbish you got um was in barrickson and a and t were the guys that actually started doing the model kits and in fairness it's you know i remember one of my first model kits was the enterprise uh the amt and it just beautiful and just did a great job so looking at this shuttlecraft she is just beautiful shuttlecraft number five um eagle must have blown this one out of the park i have to say it's she's just beautiful um paint the nacelle i just love the way the nacelles are up similar to the enterprise herself i just think there's just so much about this it would have been great if if the money was there back in the day i'm trying to get this there we go but really crisp, beautiful, beautiful detail in on this. Um, this is one of my favourites now, to be honest with you. Um, there's this, and there's also Matt Jeffrey's other concept for Phase 2, Shuttlecraft, which are beautiful. And this is what I love about this collection from Eagle Moss. I think, you know, getting these ships is something that we've been lucky to have, and long may it continue. I'd love to see a lot more concepts. So, are you a concept fan? Do you like these ships? If so, blast down a couple of concept ideas that you'd love to see. Or what was your favourite concept? The ship that was never, never to be. Um, looking forward to seeing your comments. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on my next review, which should be under five minutes. It's a nice, interesting challenge. Let us know what you think of the reviews, guys. Um, it's a different format. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Until the next time, I've been the Trek Collector. Slang of fall. Ihawat.